Hey guys, I'm back. I am here in Cape Coral, Florida at the City Hall, which is right up the road here from the police department. So we are going to go ahead and go live here in the public areas, City Hall. Probably not going to go too crazy on this building because again, it's not open. So it's pretty boring when there's nobody there. But Again, this is the uh, Cape Coral City Hall. Hand over that for you. Somebody, another city employee at the gas pump, they got their own personal gas pumps checking me out. What's he doing over there with that camera? Is he recording in the public? He can't do that. So, we're gonna check this place out. It's actually a pretty cool looking building, so it ought to be pretty nice out here to be able to uh, take a look at it at night. Because you, you walk up on this side and you just it just looks like a, like, like a normal building, you know, but when you go around the corner here it's really cool looking. Do, do, do. Cool. They got like their own little cafeteria here at City Hall. Nice. I wish it was open. I could really use one of those Mountain Dews. Oh yeah, there's a camera up there on the corner. Watching me, watching them, watching you, watching me. One over there too. Pops, Pops Cafe. Huh. I guess it's maybe independently or contractor inside City Hall. That ought to be working out good on money. Especially if Pops Cafe sells donuts. <laughs> Probably loading up here. I see you looking at me up there. Yeah, this, I don't know if you can see this building. It's just, it's pretty cool. You know, I've, I've, I've lived around this area for a while and Never really noticed uh, the architecture on this building. A little walkway up there. That's pretty cool. Let me get back on the sidewalk here. So I don't want them to come up and say I'm going to get ran over in a closed parking lot. Okay, Coral, Florida. Man, I didn't realize this place is this huge. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, I was wondering, this is like my second video ever. So I'm trying to keep it at a slow pace and this is all just um, streaming by like a, like a Samsung S8 or whatever until I get my GoPro gear all set up. But I figured tonight would be a good night to uh, check out some city buildings here and work my way over to the police department which we know there's people there it's open hopefully all right i've been told and i've heard it through the grapevine that believe it or not that cape coral police department supposedly is real camera friendly and and i know i was instructed basically by one of their master sergeants that that they basically you know they all have their uh, body cams and when they got those body cams you know they were retaking courses on public photography and understanding you know how the camera is and blah 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 so you know we'll see we will see there is no wind out here tonight beautiful flag all right so, I don't think I'm actually going to go in the lobby and just walk in there and say, hey, I'm out here auditing. From what I've been learning from some of you other guys, just kind of go with the flow and see if they bother me. So, I'm going to take the side roads around that actually uh, gives me a pretty good public view of the property. And I believe everything out back and you know you, you know whatever bomb squad vehicles or whatever they got out here 
You can kind of see it off in the distance there. I say it's, I think it's like three stories. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, I am trying to boogie over there now, guys. So nobody has to sit here on the video forever. Try not to get ran over. That's deep, dude. Well, they must have got the really good stuff hidden back there. They don't cut the lights on in that area. Hmm. I don't know if that's like employee parking back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of weird to get all these. Looks like more like utility trucks for the city. Alright, so excited. Here we come, here we come. I see maybe one car in the parking lot. And still, I have not had any officers pass me or scoping me in the distance unless they're in a really nice unmarked vehicle. Right. Nothing yet. We'll see how uh, true um, Master Sergeant, uh, Director of the Public Relations here at Cape Coral uh, Police Department, we'll see uh, basically how he, um, how true it is here about their camera friendly. I figured, you know, this would be a good night to do it. Well, I tell you what, Southern Florida, oh, that's like a sauna out here right now with the humidity. It just rained too, and I was like, oh, it'd be a nice time to head out. Not so much. It's so hot. Oh, yeah, appreciate that public sidewalk comment there. That's cool. So can you answer me this? Like, what about, like, the police department parking lot? Like where you actually, you know, like if you were to come in and park, is that not a public area where I can walk around? Or the post office parking lot? Do I have to stay on a sidewalk there? Or can I walk through the business? Okay, cool. Gotcha. Thanks, Justin. Good info, buddy. I appreciate that. But, you know. Oh yeah, I see here. Yeah, they got a sidewalk here going to their front door. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's weird on the parking lots, you know. It's like, okay, well, your sidewalk goes into your parking lot. And my whole thing is, is if they don't have any, my thing is there's no signs out here saying that there's no public access or, you know what I mean? It's, I guess it's one of them 50-50 shots. And I just need to listen if they say, okay, get out of the parking lot. Hopefully just a slap. We're checking out right now. The oh, this is like the gift shop or the front door or what? Huh. Okay. Well, we'll hit that up here in a second because I'm gonna stay on this uh, nice little sidewalk here and see how much of this I can get in the back here because. I know there's a gate opening over here. I can probably, I know I can, the sidewalk crosses. And we can see what's up behind that gate. Get these areas too. Man, they got, look at this. They got their own private balcony up there on the third floor. That must be for the top tyrants up there. They get to hang out. I don't think I've ever seen a police department with a, their own personal balcony. <laughs> I appreciate the the comment on the uh, camera quality too. It's to me it looks good on here, but I know you know it, it looks different when you guys are watching it. Oh, it's getting kind of dark here. Top tyrants, <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna have to. I uh, hopefully everybody's still there. For some reason my YouTube at 
dropped with all this excellent quality. That was weird. When I'm back now, it let me resume it. It's a good gate. Can't really see. Oh, there's like some little gaps. Can't really see up in there though. I see some vehicles. Cool. Uh, no, actually, uh, the question on the, uh, sorry about the camera there, guys. Trying to back it out for you. Um, I didn't even know there was any other Florida auditors down here. I, I looked it up on YouTube, and I seen maybe one or two, like, in Port Charlotte or Punta Gorda. But nobody really, I haven't seen anybody post anything in southwest Florida, you know, like Miami and stuff. But over here uh, on the Cape Coral, Fort Myers side... No, I mean nobody out here is has done it really anything other than a couple little short videos to I'm guessing just to prove their point or protect their self, but not just full blown audits. Yeah, I mean that would be cool. Right, you know, because that's when I was reaching out to people on here um, to see what I should do and what kind of cameras are the best and you know about going live always so i mean it, you know little things like that you just you don't know and it's good to ask instead of going out and being arrogant and thinking you know it all just because you watch the youtube video that's no you got to do your your studying and your education on it i can tell that now Boy, this place has got a huge fence can't really get over there stupid fence I know there was another opening over here so yeah I'll check that out Big Nick South Florida accountability that sounds pretty cool I've never heard of that or Jeff Gray that's cool well, it seems like the West Coast has got it together in the Midwest one of the videos I see is you know Midwest or West Coast or Southwest and it's like those guys you know, they pile in as teams, which is really cool, especially when somebody gets messed with. I thought I heard a car start up. So we might actually just kind of hang out here for a second. I'm on a public sidewalk. I'll show everybody. Staring in both directions. I can't tell if that was like you know, like a really huge commercial air conditioning unit back there. Or, I swore I heard a car. Oh, I see taillights. Can't tell if it's an officer yet. But you know what? It's not going to matter because they're coming out of the back of the police area. So... We're gonna back up. Oh, he went out the other fence. Dang it. I'm not running down there. I'm already sweating. We'll see maybe if he comes up this side street here. Oh, it's weird because if you look, I don't, I, I, maybe he heard me because I thought I heard somebody back here. Yeah, there's somebody back there now. But yeah, if you look at the arrow, it shows coming out that way. And then you go in this way, so I don't know what that third gate is. I didn't really look at the arrow. Alright. Yeah, I need to get one of those little extenders for my phone where I can stick it up in the air. Or have me a little drone floating over the top of me, that'd be cool too. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is just uh, continue up the perimeter of the Cape Coral Florida Police Department and I'm hurrying because you know all the action is going to be in the lobby if there's anybody in there but you know hopefully we have no contact you know I, I can't I mean I want contact but at the same time I you know it just shows more and more hopefully they're doing their job here and, not enforcing all kind of laws on people because they're wearing those body cams, you know, 24-7 whenever they're on patrol. And, you know, of course, I believe those things only come on when they're actually talking to somebody. 
And I've heard I've heard both ways on those cams. It's like if they they shouldn't have the option to cut it off, period. You know what I mean? And I thought I've heard that you know they can cut it off, and I'm like, well, that, that takes it. I mean, you know, they shouldn't be able to cut it off. It should be on automatically, especially with the you know technology and the data and stuff we got today. Oh, this view sucks. So I'm working my way around to the, uh, yeah, that's actually, yeah. That's what I was thinking, the city hall comment too. I was thinking that when I was walking over there earlier, you know, about getting some property line stuff. But um, here, you know, Cape Coral is technically an island, you know, out here. And it's, it's not the huge area in Southwest Florida. I mean, there's a lot of huge cities. Uh, Fort Myers, Florida, from what I get, they have a lot of issues uh, with their officers there, you know, just poking their chest out and throwing the rules all on you. So uh, there's going to be, I'm going to be doing an audit there very soon. Um, at one of there's multiple Fort uh, Myers locations for the police department, but the one I want to do is literally off Martin Luther King Drive. So it's in a really decent area where they like to uh, mess with people's rights. Yeah, I'm also going to do a second trip out here uh, in the daytime because there is, you know, some landscaping out here and probably tons of cameras on this building that we're missing, you know. A nice little fountain out here. Oh, it makes me want to go pee. Hope they got a bathroom in there now. Um, pretty much, no. This, yeah, this is my first time auditing. Um, never done it before. Just, you know, always, you know, I, I watched, I've seen some of these videos on YouTube and between there and Facebook and other, other sources. And, you know, a lot of the people, you can tell they were just doing it just to, get out of a ticket or whatever but there was the people that put their heart into it because you know people just like me you know whenever I get pulled over and a lot of people know what I'm talking about you get pulled over just for running a light or you know speeding about five or ten miles either way as soon as those uh, blue lights cut on you basically you know what happens is your adrenaline starts going and you start freaking out and you know you shouldn't be having to be scared of the police you know, that's the whole point there, too, is, not, I mean, the whole main point is your, your First Amendment right, but, you know, or all your rights, basically, but, you know, to, to be scared of an officer, it's ridiculous. So, I, you know, my whole thing with this channel is, is it's to show the respect, and it's also to show the disrespect that the police, you know, put on us, and, you know, vice versa, you know some mean people out there too not just police so but you know that's pretty much my story is uh i want to get the point out to everybody and you know everybody should feel more comfortable filming the police and if you are scared of them i'd recommend filming them and doing what i'm doing and other people that are doing out here well before me and it will bring down your fear level really quick plus it's fun and it's free that didn't cost nothing. Well, I guess it cost you, you know, whatever you put into the high quality equipment, but, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm using a, right now just a Samsung S9 uh, Galaxy Note. Um, seems to be doing pretty good streaming off of uh, Verizon service. So, but I am outside. So we'll see how this police department goes. Uh, we are going to follow this sidewalk around here at City Hall. The, all those lights back there in the distance, that's where we came from earlier. That's the City Hall building. I'll go check on the permits. Yeah, this will be a cool daytime visit, that's for sure. Whew. Wear shorts out here next time. Stupid. Down with Florida boy down here with no shorts on. Hi.
could stick a, I didn't, you know, I was thinking like, well, I could stick like a Gatorade in my back pocket, but I didn't want to make the officer shoot me or something, thinking it was like a gun, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, that's, that's an awesome comment, you know, and I've noticed that too. You don't have to be, you know, an asshat or rude or, you know, I, I've been taught both ways in life brought up, you know, you can treat them like shit or crap and you so, you know, treat them with respect and sometimes that will make them mad more and get what you're expecting out of them. But, you know, kill them with kindness most of the time works, you know, but yeah, to be, to come out and be arrogant and like I said, you know, it's like I said in the beginning, it's my second, third video, I, I know nothing. And, and I'm, I'm so open to, you know, people telling me stuff like this and, you know, educating me on it. Like I said, I walked uh, past here earlier and nobody was looking out the windows or anything, but I really can't tell where the desk is. So, moment I've been waiting for. I'm going to take a left here and go on up here and check it out. Let's see how uh, true the uh, Master Sergeant's comments were earlier. Which I have via email, uh, also by email. Oh, cool. I got a cool statue out here we can go look at. Let's see. Take a look at that first, see if I can catch any attention. Well, I don't even know if I can get in this place. I really don't want to buzz myself in. What is this? Cool. We got a little statue here. Can't read what the writing is behind it because the statue is right in front of it. But... No comments. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> yeah, alert, alert, alert. <laughs> it's just, I feel like I'm walking like a ninja out here right now. It's like nobody's looking, but you know, one of these cameras has already probably picked me up out here. I see one up there in the corner there in, in the window. Nice little, got a nice little hidden plaque over here. What did you say? Worshipful. People worship here at the police department. What? Maybe I read that wrong. Let's see. Worship the tyrants. You shall worship us. <laughs> Oh, no smoking. 50 feet. I already had my cigarettes. Really good. After hour assistance intercom. Oh, I don't want to do that. I have to sit here at the window. Nice little security metal detector there. Wait, that's a really. Neat looking, oh, I can't even see all of it. Neat looking little poster with all the trophies. So many trophies. Must be pretty active here. Oh yeah, you know I'm, you know I'm here. Like, yeah, I know they know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird though, because I don't even see, there must be somebody hiding in there, because that would be the area, or records or something. And it's like no lights are on. You can come here and get fingerprinted. You can come at those hours, or you can pretty much come in any hours, depending on the situation. They can fingerprint you for free and give you a free room if you want. They'll, they'll find something to put you in here for and give you a nice little cozy little iron cell. Duty. They got a duty officer here. <laughs> Duty. 
Well, figured I wouldn't even have to push the intercom. This place is huge. It's pretty cool. I'm still on the sidewalk. See, I can I can go all the way up to the end of the sidewalk here. This attaches to the sidewalk over there. So I will not step in the parking lot, just in case. Until I, or until I get smarter on the situation and I just get cocky one day and be like, you know what, the hell with it. So this must be the overnight, maybe the overnight police car here. Local Florida plates. so strange. It's like every window I look out. There's another camera way up there. Uh, maybe maybe I should call up here and be like, uh, I'm, this is some suspicious activity officer because I don't see anybody here. I mean, it's only like, I'm not sure, it's like, what, 9.30? Not even, oh, there we go. <laughs> that answers the question right there. A uh, huge public, the public tax paid clock. And you have to count the damn lines. <laughs> that couldn't have been digital. <laughs> so that is all these cameras. I could do like, you know, like, like people who used to do, you know, ringing doorbells and running. I could ring the intercom and run. <laughs> I think they have, seriously, I think they have seen the First Amendment audits somehow or another. Oh, I can see my, I can scare myself like a ghost in the window. Well, that is strange. Because, you know, anytime I'm out in my vehicle, which I parked like a mile away from here, because I did learn that in the videos, that, that's basically just common sense right there. So I don't really want the officers to harass me or whoever drives the vehicle. Well, this sucks. There's a water bottle back there. That's the only light I really see in the whole place. I know you see me in there. <laughs> You're probably listening to me right now. There's this crazy guy out here. Cool. Yeah, for sure. You know, again, just uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, I'm probably going to hang out here a little bit longer. I'm going to go back around the fence because I keep, it's like, you know, every time I come around the corner, I keep hearing something like people starting up cars. And I think that's the only contact I'm actually going to have here is if I get lucky. But, you know, like uh, what, like you said, uh, the one, that one comment, I think they, you know, they know or they've had it before. And, you know, there's no telling where that source is because, I mean, it's damn sure not on YouTube. I know I typed it in multiple ways and I couldn't find anything uh, that was basically Cape Coral, just a few Fort Myers ones. But, yeah, I'll definitely check uh, those ones in the comments you told me about. Um, don't even see anybody up there. There's nobody peeking. So, is there anybody in this room uh, right now that's, yeah, it says uh, seven people. That's cool. Five people now. Um, are you guys, I mean, are y'all do, do y'all do audits too? Um, are you pretty much doing the same thing or are you just the fans? Put my beamer flashlight on here and i do i do that also i will cut my light on so fast especially when i want somebody to 
catch attention out of the corner of their eye. But, you know, again, it's... I'm walking down this creepy public... Scary out here in the dark beside the police department. I should not feel that way. I should feel, I should feel safe. <laughs> but I want to go back over here to this one gate that everybody keeps sneaking out of. I was wondering earlier about the arrow. If like, you'll see, this says do not enter. So I'm guessing it's like, I'm guessing it's like an exit. Let's see if I can get close enough to this fence though. Because, I mean, technically this is still kind of the, like the public areas. And you can kind of see in that. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet. Yep. Nice. There we go, guys. That's what I wanted. Sweet. That was awesome. Well, if anybody was back there, I swear I heard a car running. They definitely seemed like a like a hand and a phone come up above the fence. That's all they seen, it probably freaked them out. <laughs> Still, yeah, same thing here, man. I'm, or I'm, you know, still researching it. Yeah, it's, it takes, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like when I first got on here earlier, I was a little nervous, but, you know, that's just because I'm not really talking to anybody right now, I think personally because I, I think once the police officer starts talking to me then that's you know always when everybody's you know nervous is, goes up so I don't think I'm gonna be that way though because I am 40 years old and, and had enough of the police over the years and observed and watched and, and never really done anything about it you know other just just running my mouth or you know typing in a, on Facebook here and there and comment and stuff but you know, that, that stuff is, you know, being kind of an activist on it, but, you know, just being out here, I think, more in the public and doing this stuff. Man, I can't get over these balconies. Look at this. This is the other side of the building. We got, like, two balconies. Only in Florida. I'll tell you what. Uh-oh. Tire and alert. Tire and alert. Well, here we go, guys. Anybody, everybody see him? That wasn't here earlier when I came by. So, you were right. They already knew I was here. <laughs> uh oh, I see some bluish looking headlights again. So here we go again, there's another officer. <laughs> oh, he just flew by me. Yeah, he just flew by me. Let's see where he's going. He turned into that, uh, on that side street. Let's see if he's turning around. Now I see where I need multiple cameras. <laughs> Seriously. Because <laughs> you'll get busy trying to watch my videos and be spinning my head around like the exorcist. <laughs> Trying not to get y'all dizzy. Yeah, that's that's a trip. So it was, see I walked around the whole place, went all up in the windows, did the parking lot. Probably been here on the property for at least 15, 20 minutes or so. And then they show up and I didn't hit the uh, intercom and I didn't ask for any kind of service or anything. So they just somebody probably somebody was probably up there smoking a big fatty on one of the balconies and they seen me. That's what it was. I truly believe that. Somebody somebody's they took somebody's stash. Yeah, Michael Brawley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they took somebody's stash and they that's the that's the private balcony up there with the chair. Yep, that's what it is. Right now, I'm just kind of uh, standing back. I don't know if this guy got out or not because I didn't see him pull in. So, I'm not wanting to approach him, but I still want to remain on property. 
I think he might be still in the vehicle. So I'm going to make him work for it. And uh, I'm going to continue because it seems like he came up when I was walking down this. Sorry, guys. It dropped out on me again. Stupid YouTube. So, yeah, to catch you back up, uh, we've been here about 20, 25 minutes. Did a pretty much a full tour of the place. Outside, didn't go inside because I didn't do the intercom thing for after service hours. I think there'd always be somebody in here. But, uh, nobody, I have had no contact. And then basically I was heading around the, the back of the perimeter here uh, to go back over to the fence and see if we can uh, take a look in that parking lot again, which I got some better views on there. It was about five minutes ago. And um, all of a sudden this guy pulls up behind me. And now I know why I need a cam, a chest cam, rear cam. <laughs> yeah, your no contact would be the best. Absolutely, that's what I'm going for. I mean, that just tells you right there that that officer most likely has either common sense or has been educated on uh, your First Amendment and public photography. You know, it's just, it's as simple as that. You know, people don't understand that stuff. So I hear a vehicle racing up behind me now. I don't know, I didn't look behind me to see if that was the same officer. Oh, yep, that's the one that came by here earlier and cut off on the side street, it's unmarked. And now he's heading back around the back. So he went around the whole property, came out on a whole different road. I'm not sure what that road's called over there. Um, and went all the way around back where the, you know, the police department sign was on the front of the property. Yep, definitely scooping me out. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> see now I'm creeping see that's that whole thing that's their whole tactic to intimidate the public fucking tyrants that's all they are it just it irritates me more you've already seen me with a camera out here doing the front of the property and now you're going to send your buddy which you know they're talking in their two vehicles together or probably more people or the whole building knows now and this bastard tyrant just goes around the whole building and then comes back and flies up behind me like he's speeding towards me and I'm walking on the sidewalk and just just mean mugs me, probably taking pictures of me. And so now I don't know, he came around so fast, I don't know if he went into the entrance back here or he's going around the property again. So they definitely, definitely know I'm out here now. <laughs> Yay! We've had some contact. I think they're mad. I think they found out that I know about their secret balconies where they take the, you know, the people's drugs they confiscate and they go up there. It's probably what it is. All in all, everything, you know, I can say anything I want. I can photograph whatever I want. And, you know, most of the time it's for laughs, but in these cases, in these videos, it's purely educational. It's not to harm the police. It's not to tell anybody that basically, you know, that he, that any of these officers are bad. And it's not to put them in harm. It's not to threaten them, but it's like, you can only be threatened and, you know, you know, officers threaten you and sorry getting out of my conversation because I'm paying attention to these fences over here because I thought I heard that vehicle again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to continue walking back the same way I was walking earlier this way because it goes out to that main road to where he turned left and then went around the front of the building and crept up on me like, I mean, literally, he came, he turned on that road. I wish I had the rear cam because, yeah, he turned on that road and gunned it like like he's gonna chase somebody. You can hear the engine. That's just an intimidation tactic is all it is. You know, I can, I've got a car. I can rev my shit up too, seriously. But you know, it's just that whole look of the police car and the, 
and then you know that thin blue line that they got that you know no matter which way you look at it it's representing it's a gang symbol there's bad and good gangs there's good and bad gangs but when you it's like wearing you know how they classified people on the west coast back in the days and probably still to this day like bloods and crips you know they got the red and the blues so you know when the police comes out instead of just having just the united states american flag you know they make it black and put a blue line on it so they're claiming their own you know i mean you can look at it either way and i'm not trying to piss anybody off on this it's just my opinion you know it's it's just weird with the whole blue line thing very weird yeah this yeah i see some of them yeah i hope they do know the channel i seriously doubt it though i mean you know i just literally started this channel a few days back or so and it was just i didn't have any uh live videos on there all i had was liked videos of a lot of the other audio auditors that you know i really like um that i was shouting out earlier uh, james freeman furry potato johnny 5.0 monkey all pretty much the news now patrick news now kc pretty much that whole crew um and i think one the guy's name is bao bao he's pretty cool too yeah, i like him too he, it's just you know they don't take no shit at the same time though it's either professional or depends what you give me what kind of attitude you give me you know you respect my first amendment we won't have no problem yeah that's true yeah i wonder if you can yeah i guess you could probably type that in or anything probably like cape coral audit i don't i haven't done a search on it yet but yeah if somebody wants to search youtube maybe type in like cape coral police or cape coral audit it might come up i don't know because of how i worded it in the title all right guys so we are we did our five minute tour around the back again. I swear I keep hearing shit behind me. And I'm not paranoid. I think they're in the bush. Maybe they got like those little owl drones up in the trees looking at me. Uh, Mike Chestnut, how you doing? No, um, the uh, lobby's locked. And instead of me pushing the uh, little camera intercom button, I basically just went up to it and filmed it and filmed everything in the windows walked around the property and nobody was here and then there was one car in the parking lot and then when i came back around uh cape coral police vehicle was sitting out here at suv which look guys he disappeared so he probably called his master sergeant and he told him no leave him alone if you know what's good for you leave that guy alone Oh, cool. Thanks, Sherry. How you doing, Sherry W? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, Nightcrawler. Thank you, buddy, for being here. Any any comments are welcomed on filming and some little pointers and stuff. Uh, you know, there is some more people here now, so maybe uh, if somebody can tell me, like, because I swore I've seen it in a lot of other people's videos. Like, if it's the police department, like this parking lot, do I am I only allowed to be on the the sidewalk here, or can I walk in the parking lot too? Because there's no signs or anything saying that it, unauthorized or whatever. So I'm curious if if anybody can answer that or maybe look that law up. Because I don't want to go on a sidewalk and and get busted for some stupid shit, you know? And I'm telling you what, I have not had any contact, and I know a lot of the videos I've watched with the other auditors, just, in, I mean, they they come right up to them, no matter if I would've walked off like I did earlier, that guy would've should've got out of the car, you know he knows I'm here, because that was the only reason. 
and his buddy either took off down the other road which I think is Gleason yeah it might be Gleason yeah that's what I was figuring Nightcrawler I appreciate that advice yeah it's as long as it doesn't say you know if it's not authorized that's exactly what I thought cool appreciate that because all I see is just uh, fire fire and parking and it, is it true also I can walk up on the like the grass that goes around the perimeter to build in too can I not unless there's a sign you know I, I thought that uh that a public property is pretty much the whole property unless it's a, something a sign saying that you know that I can't do that I, maybe this is what happened is when I was filming this car earlier and maybe that's why the cop came out whoever this is is probably the person watching me inside you know it. Dirty bastards watching me. Well, that's okay, you can watch me. But I'm gonna watch you. I'm kinda, it's cool because I wanted to get out in this parking lot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not, yeah, it's, it's pretty dark over there. Unless I can put a floodlight on my shoulder, I don't think I'm gonna go back there. Oh, that water sounds so good. It's so hot out here right now, I just want to fall in the water. I am pouring sweat. And it just rained, so it's like, it's, you know, anybody has been down here in South Florida or Florida in general, jeez. It's like they purposely don't want you to breathe down here. I swore I heard some voices somewhere. Hello. <laughs> I still love those private balconies. <laughs> I just never seen a police department before with a balcony. They can get out on their balcony, they can smoke a big fatty and look right around the corner and see what time it is. <laughs> what time is it? Audit time. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm just goofing off. <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate everybody on here watching and liking and and you know, I said, you know, the few subscribers that I have, I hope that you share it out here. And, uh, you know, please share my stuff and please keep uh, in contact with me because I'm going to be doing a ton of these. And again, if you look in Southwest Florida, I'm only seeing like Cape or uh, Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte, Northport. That guy, uh, whoever that is, or a few people, I'm not really, I didn't do much research on them. They're doing a bunch of audits down there or up there, but I really haven't seen anything between Fort Myers or Cape Coral or Lehigh, um, even in Naples. You know, I, I just, I think that would be cool, you know, to team up at down here. And, and do these audits because I, I really truly believe that these police they have no clue down here or they pretty much just run on whatever they say goes <laughs> this is a weird city I'm telling you because I, I moved here now I know everybody speeds and drives fast and it's something totally different but ever since I moved here I mean people do like 40 miles over the speed limit everywhere in this city I mean, and you know, growing up where I was from, you know, that nobody really sped because they were scared they were going to get pulled over by the police and lose their license or have a ticket or whatever. It's like, it makes me wonder is that, you know, they're arresting people and harassing people for little bullshit instead of the people that are running over kids at school bus stops because they have, they're not scared that they're speeding, you know what I mean? Well, somebody pulling in the parking lot looks like a regular vehicle somebody probably coming in checking we're not going to film them unless they talk to me and then that pretty much invites them on the camera so we're just going to go ahead and film the statue again it's bronze or copper or something I don't know what it is it's kind of cool the little kid's like, are you my daddy? No, it's just... <laughs> huh. Well, they must be pre-approved. Because I tried that door earlier and I couldn't get in there. What in the hell, Bobby? Huh. The 
That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, this building's a trip. I mean, it just... It's just a huge building. These people are walking around in the lobby and they haven't had anybody talk to them at all. <laughs> That's exactly the same contact I had. There was nobody. You know, I've been out here, what, 45 minutes? And nobody's picked up or said anything out here. We had one officer come up, stare at me. We had another one race around me and try to harass me. And... Around here? Honestly, I haven't seen one in the... I've been here 45 minutes doing an audit and nobody. Are you supposed to? I think there's a little intercom button over there you press. And now there's somebody in the building, I oh, think. Right. What are you doing? Are you... Uh, we're doing... I'm doing a First Amendment audit. Oh, all right. Yes, sir. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, <laughs> Be better, <good>. huh? <laughs> cool people. Yeah, they were just uh, they were just asking um, that there was an officer here, and you know, you heard what I explained. It's basically you got to hit that intercom button, and somebody will come off their big butt on their balcony and, and come down here and uh, take it. I'm trying to get far enough from this guy because he's actually telling his whole police report and uh, public info, his actually his private info. Oh, look at this, guys. Remember that red uh, vehicle earlier? Look over there. Bust it. Sneaky bastard. Yeah, Rob and Justice Watch. Y'all check that out. Oh, you sneaky bastard. Oh, that's funny. I'm listening to the guy in the background, and he said that uh, the lady said something about he would have to wait outside or whatever. And he said, well, the door is open. And I didn't hear what she said. I don't even think she knows that the door was unlocked. Damn it. Okay, next time I do this, that was a rookie mistake. Check all door entrances. Because <laughs> I could have walked right in there. Oh, look here, guys. Look here. So this, this guy, this is that cop vehicle again. That's that same unmarked burgundy uh explorer or whatever the hell it is they drive expedition that's it he went around the building again and then when i was walking around the back he cut back over here on the side and snuck up that little alley and i didn't see him until just now so he's probably been sitting there the whole time and if it wasn't so damn dark where he's at over there like he's in a black area i would go up in his face but again this is my first audit, so I think I will wait until I get my second camera and my third camera, maybe my hat camera. There's, I'm going to add a, probably one to two more additional cameras to this setup so we can have like a like a multi-view, multi 3D-ish kind of thing going on. It'd be kind of cool. This will probably be like a walking battery pack, though. Well... I don't hear anything back there with them fences. Yeah, he's definitely gathering something over there. He's down in an alley, like a secret alley, so... I don't know, you know, in certain cities, you know, that when people pull off in alleys like that, they're doing other stuff. Illegal stuff. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna walk across this street here. Because this is a public cut through road here or actually I think it's a private little street so I'm just gonna basically I was trying to get a little bit closer you know he's looking at his mirror right out now going damn it he's up behind me now he's got the night vision goggles on me he's probably standing in that bush right there but all in all other than that guy which again you know he didn't he hasn't made any contact with me at all and the other officer that came out here also did not make any contact with me and you know damn well they're going to be recording every camera and going around the property so i mean in my book the nighttime audit for here is going to pass but uh, like i was saying in the beginning of the video this is a night and this also this is a nighttime audit so 
I'm going to basically do a daytime audit out here when there's people here. Just, I want to be able to do that. So basically this guy in here, his son stayed in the car. And yeah, for sure. January, awesome. Yep, I'll definitely get a hold of it. Oh no, he's still out there. It's actually the wife or somebody in the car, but she hasn't made any contact with me, so I won't aim the camera at her. But I want them to think I'm just staring at them. I can't tell if that's a shadow or a chair in that window. You see that third window over at the top on the left side? I haven't moved yet. I'm moving. I swore I seen it move. Oh, I think it is somebody. Or is it a chair? I want to zoom in because it'll go right into the lights. All right, so I guess uh, we're almost at about an hour on this. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess these guys. So get this. Is he on a phone? Oh, he's on his cell phone. I thought he got, I thought he got let in the lobby and then he had to pick up a phone to talk to an officer. He still hasn't had anybody come out yet because I've been recording that other cop across the street hiding on me. Mr. Ninja. Ninja Assassin. Yeah, that's, you know what? That is an excellent statement, right? There's only a pass if I make it back to the car safely. So, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm parked in a nice little area and I've lived around this area for a kind of a while, so we're in this area at one time, so it's there's some nice little cutoffs down here that they can't chase me in a vehicle or down a sidewalk, hopefully. That would be interesting. Yep, he's still sitting over there. Boy, if I had some light and I'm going to come back out here in the light, I'm going to see what that road is because if it's a private deal and it's public, man. I really want to see what he's doing there. Sneaky little bastard. Hear cars coming and stuff, so I'm just making sure it's not another officer coming out here or not. So, well, yep, yeah, I mean, just like you said, as long as I make it back to my uh, car okay and nice and safe. So, before I get off here, I want to do one more pass here, basically. I'm going to go uh, down the sidewalk a little bit more. My friend over there is still sitting there. I noticed I'm trying to get right into the center of his back window to where he can look in the rear view. I'm like waving and stuff. Hey! <laughs> Bastards. What? Hey, uh, just I know I seen in the beginning of this video other than you know the dark patches I'm going through here. How is the uh, is the is the video quality doing good on this? Um, like I said, I'm gonna be upgrading the cameras here really soon. I just uh, you know I want to try to put out the best quality I can with what I got, or it's not worth it. You know, got to be able to see their faces. Yeah, it's very quiet here. Yeah, Cape Coral, Florida, man, it's, especially even on the weekends, it, it just, it starts to die, like, after 8, 9, everybody just goes and gets dinner, and that's pretty much it. But when they, the only problem is when they, when they are out here, it's like, everybody has to go the speed of light to get to where they're going, which, you know, that's in a lot of places in the world, but it's just like, you know, you'd figure there'd be some kind of fear of the police on speeding and everything and that just tells you that we probably just don't live in those times anymore with speeders unless you're in a small town one light town which is very rare these days too to where they you know that's how they make their money in the you know pulling people over pays for the whatever in the police department because it sure as hell doesn't pay for educational classes on photo of uh, public photography Especially with some officers. I don't know if you can see that little red light out there in the center. That's him over there still. Yeah, maybe he's doing his... Maybe I should go over there and ask him, Sir, um, 
I just came over because uh, you look kind of suspicious sitting here in the back of a building here that's closed and doesn't belong to the police department. <laughs> I think it's like a realty office or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't really hear anything out here and I know it's really, I, this fence sucks. I need one of them sticks. But what I'm gonna do is, just like I did earlier, this one fence over here is really short and there's no sign saying uh, private property or in this area or don't go past this line or it's just part of the road basically. So I'm gonna go, I almost thought I heard the fence opening. Sneaky bastards, they come out like ninjas. It's like they're making their cars quiet. Oh, I don't know if I see that tail light anymore. Oh yeah, he's still over there. Okay, so, yeah, see, it says do not, but it's like, that's up to the fence, as long as I don't go on the other side of the fence. You know what I mean? And you can pretty much just record and do whatever thing you want out here. Oh, check that out. Sorry, guys, the cop just flew by me, seeing me holding my arm up over the fence. <laughs> it's, Every, you know, I've learned on these videos that every time somebody says they're about to go home and get off, boom, the shit hits the van. <laughs> so he flew around the front. He kind of just let off the gas, stabbed me, and just took off. <laughs> so he's heading, he headed over to uh, basically, I think that, that, that guy and then the kid or whatever was in the office there. So I'm guessing nobody was here. And they just have a dispatcher in there for third shift like one person and that dispatcher is watching all the cameras on the perimeter of the building probably too and something tripped off and seen me earlier and that cop came out and just kind of chilled in the parking lot he didn't even get out and when I came back around he was gone oh I got an unmarked white four-door Vehicle coming up beside me. Let's see if we have any contact at all with it. Can you see anything? There it goes. Uh, it's kind of blurry. Damn tail lights. That was one of them big old unmarked Suburbans. Yeah, man. I swear I thought that would have been a can I see your ID? He just they just go on by, dude. This place has been awesome. So now he's creeping though. If you watch him, he's going really slow. Oh, oh he's tapping his brakes. Where's he going? He just turned right into a parking lot. No signal. Blue privilege right there, baby. Blue privilege. If I'm a cop, I don't have to obey this, any of the laws on the road while I'm driving. Here, he probably don't even have his seatbelt on either. I can't stand. I don't know about you, but I can't stand when I see a police officer, you know what I mean? That's not doing that, you know, following the laws. This guy's probably gonna be like, you can't be filming out here when I'm, when I'm talking to victims in the lobby. Now the cop, I can see him, he's on the phone in there. He's probably like, hey, there's a guy out here. <laughs> and that white Suburban that came out earlier, that came up beside me, he was behind that fence. That's why I kept saying, I hear something weird. <laughs> he just come flying out. You don't even hear that fence, man. That fence scares me more than the damn cops do. It's so sneaky. It's like ninja. So what we're gonna do is go over here and take a look. Cause they like wasting the taxpayers' money too by leaving. Maybe it's just because of all the electronics in the car. But every cop car I see, they always leave it running, and there's nobody in there, and the doors are unlocked. You know what I mean? There's kind of a gray area there. Like, how can they do that, you know? And some states, they it's illegal. I think it was like Kansas. Uh, I was living in Overland Park, Kansas one time, and they said they gave you tickets for uh, just warming up your car in the morning uh, when it's snowy and icy outside. If they just seen you, if you weren't in the car and it was sitting there idling, they would give you a ticket for that. And that's just stupid. That's just another way for tyrants to just take your money. Well, I don't really see anything else interesting going on here. But the officer did come out. 
So this is uh, the third offer. Actually, this is the four. This is four. This is four different uh, police vehicles that I've seen. This is like the uh, the fourth vehicle that I've actually seen out here. Sneaky behind the bush. He was he was giving me a look. He gave me because the other guy said that. Oh, he's out there taking a video. I'm not taking a video, sir. I'm just recording. I'm not taking the video anywhere, but for my own knowledge, you know what I mean? Boy, that statue's a trip. Okay, the cop's coming up behind me. There he goes, nothing. Pissed off, takes off fast. Uh, get the fuck out of here, you're dismissed. <laughs> That, the guy, he has been driving around. That's the first time I've seen him. On top of that, I should go over there and tell the guy, the other guy, the same thing. Hiding over there. Because him and his buddy are working together. That's the third time he's came up to me. And he hasn't stopped. And he ha I swore I heard him say something one time on a side street when I was walking. But you know what? Get the hell out of here. And he took off fast, too. He got in that car real fast when he seen me coming out behind that bush. Well, as long as I make it home okay tonight, I say I won the night. And the Cape Coral Police Department night audit has passed. Thank you, Cape Coral Police Department, for not harassing me. Other than I don't know who it is, but he really ha he has not made any contact with me yet. It's just the, the fact that he's creeping and now he's still sitting in that parking lot and you know, wasting taxpayers' money just probably playing on a cell phone or trying to look me up on YouTube right now. But we are good to go, and I appreciate everybody again watching. Thanks for all the comments. Um, oh, cool, Mike Chestnut Overland Park, really? <laughs> I, I'm not from there, but I, uh, I, I live there... Uh, for like there between there and uh, Lenexa and Lenexa was even worse with their police department. I mean, they picked on every, I mean, I think they had a cussing fine there. If you couldn't cuss or whatever, they could give you a ticket. It's the same thing. It's like originally I'm from uh, the Charleston and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. And they just had something out there a few years back where they're trying to pass a law to give people tickets for cussing in the public. Seriously. I mean, come on. But yeah, Overland Park, man. I had some good times there, man. Kansas City, you know, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I did some work in St. Louis. And I was back in my, uh, I used to be a cable TV contractor. And that was back in those days, man. I traveled the road and pretty much went everywhere. I went to Hawaii and did all this cable work. And it was an awesome, awesome job. Giving you guys one more view. I can't really zoom in or it's going to look like crap with that, that tyrant vehicle that hasn't made contact with me but likes to ride around and stare at me and rev his engine like he's going to come up behind me and run me over or something. But I've had, I think if we go through the video again, I've had at least four to five uh, officer vehicles out here and they've, yeah, the night crew did excellent. I keep, I keep saying that and saying I'm going to get off because every time I do that, something pops up. So I'm just making sure. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. So I'm not sure when, probably in the next few days or so, be looking, uh, you know, make sure you got your notifications on or subscribed and keep an eye on my channel because I will be doing some more public properties out here in some sub substations of the police department out here and I'll also be doing uh, Fort Myers police departments which are you know I've heard so many bad and good things but more bad things yeah I bet you that guy's watching me over there just like with night vision they probably got like hidden guys everywhere watching me trying to figure out where in the hell I'm parked, but good luck with that. All right. Well, I will see y'all later. Peace out. I appreciate the comments. And again, I appreciate everybody watching it and hopefully you'll share it out there and we'll make this channel bigger and team up together on here and kick some butt. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.